Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanted to help support this channel, you can. It won't cost you a thing. Just use the links in the description down below if you wanted to pick up any of this for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. Got some shoe glue here, and this is some of the best glue you can use for shoes. It is for fixing shoes or sandals or sneakers like these, which are shot but we're gonna put these back together. I've had these for a while, really used them a lot. Living down the shore, you use sandals quite a bit. Really got my use out of these. Surface should be clean, dry, and free of dirt. A deal application range to temperature, 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Apply directly to surface, allow to cure for 24 hours. Clean, unsecured adhesive. A little uh, paper plate so I don't ruin the desk. Unscrew the cap. On the top of the cap, it's got this little puncture thing right there. Push that together like this and it will puncture the top of the cap. As you can see, it's coming out now. You just need to use a little bit, uh, open it up like so. Don't wanna to put too much because as you close the shoe, it's gonna come out. And as we squeeze it, the glue's gonna come out the side a little bit. So you don't, again, you don't wanna to put too much. Kinda of make a little sandwich. That's it. Again, you don't wanna get any on your fingers because this stuff's pretty nasty. So I'm gonna leave this here for now. Since this one's really bad, we're gonna use a lot more glue. This, this is the strap, we just make sure it's through. Put it on the bottom of the strap, close it up. So I got a whole bunch of glue all over it. I had to do it outside because I didn't want to breathe this stuff in. Just sandwich it together. We'll come back in 24 hours and I'll let you know what it looks like. Okay, so I'm back with the finished product. Didn't have time to make a video, so it's been sitting for a few days. You at least want to let this sit overnight, maybe a day or two to make sure it's completely dry, especially if you're using a lot. So as you can see, I use this whole small container. This is the one fluid ounce size. I wouldn't recommend getting this small size unless you're just doing a really small repair job. I ended up using this whole container. Uh, I, I did have a lot of extensive repairs. I had to fix the whole one side was coming off and I had to fix around the whole outside of the other uh, sandal. So I did have a lot of repair to do. But again, if you're only doing a small, small job, I would get the small one for a couple dollars more. You can get the big size. So I'll leave all the links in the description down below. It dries clear, it is shiny. You could see over here where I repaired it. I didn't really care if I have any kind of glue showing on these because they're just something for around the house and they get beat up a lot. I wanted to make sure that I really got it on the outside so that these don't get any kind of water inside and they don't come apart again. But if I took the time, I mean, I really could have wiped the glue off before it, uh, it got on the outside like this. Again, when you're doing this, you just want to put a little, as little as possible to start out with. Squeeze it, make sure it's really together and then wipe off the excess as quick as you can. I mean, if you're gonna be dress shoes or something that you really care about. So just wipe it off really quick before it gets on the, the outside of the soles. They're not coming apart, as you can see. They're really, uh, really stuck on there well. But again, this stuff is the best stuff you could possibly get to repair shoes. I would highly, highly recommend doing this in a very, very well ventilated area. Whatever you do, do not breathe this stuff because it will make you go loony and it is very, very bad for your health. I would do it outside and I would put the shoes somewhere to dry where you're not gonna be breathing them in and those fumes aren't gonna come into the house where you're sleeping. Once it's dry, you know, they dry clear, they don't smell at all, no chemical fumes or anything, and we're good to go. I'm gonna leave the links in the description for you in case you wanted to pick up some of this for yourself. And again, I would go with the bigger size only because it'll last you a lot longer. And if you like this video, make sure to click that like button, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section down below. Thanks again for watching, take care.